So guys, I just found the easiest way to format your comic book scripts with just using Microsoft Word. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, this is Art of TDJ here and I'm here to talk to you guys how I create my combo scripts using this format by the one and only Fred Van Lente. So Fred Van Lente, for those who don't know, he's a well-known uh, writer who wrote comics such as Archer and Armstrong, Amazing Spider-Man, Colin the Avenger, Weird Detective, so many other different titles. What makes him also famous is that he has taught many writers and editors and letterers how he format his combo scripts to the point where it's almost the standard way of formatted combo scripts, but not exactly, but it's very common among all the other writers. So I discovered this probably a couple months ago and I now implement it into my own scripts. So I'm gonna show you guys how he does it right with Microsoft Word. Also, this guy has free templates available on his website for you to choose from. And while you're at it, um, he's also doing courses where he's teaching uh, writers how to do visual storytelling like he did with his comic book. So if you guys are all interested in his perspective and how he does his work and how you can implement on your stories, the links are in the description below. Go check him out. If you're like me that wants to customize the features and see how the, the system works, follow this video. Make sure you give me a like, comment and subscribe and uh, support your boy. So before we get started, we need to understand two main components for formatting our scripts. And one of them is multi-level lists. So if we go up here, you see this icon right here, where it's one, one AI. This is what's called a multi-level list. This is the secret ingredient to making a healthy and prosperous life for all the writers, because instead of the writers manually typing the scripts one, two, and three and numbering down, this multi-level list will automatically number all your sections within the document. And I'm gonna show you exactly how Fred breaks down his comic book scripts. Level one is the page numbers. So that's page one, page two. The second level is panels one, two, and three. That's the second level. And then the third level is where you put your captions, your dialogue, your sound effects, so forth. The second thing component we wanna talk about is styles or quick styles. So if we look on the right side, or if you don't have it on, on your Microsoft Word, you can have it on top. I just click on this little tab right here, and that's what basically shifts the styles to the right side. So you can just go, so you can click any of your stuff. So styles, these are different uh, styles that are used for your documents. I have a font style for dialogue. I have a style for the issue title. I got one for the panels. One that's without the panels, it's just plain text. I have one for headings, right? And one, heading two, like all. These are these quick styles that I use for um, the combo scripts. And it's very imperative because what we're gonna do with the styles is we're gonna link these styles to the multi-level list, which is the next step in phase. So let's get started. So we'll create a new page. So the first thing we gotta do before we format our scripts is we need to get our quick styles in first. So um, so right now we're seeing normal, no spacing, heading one, heading two, title, subtitle, blah, blah, blah. So, so I'm gonna create two new styles. So one's gonna be the comics dialogue. Uh, for paragraph settings, I'm gonna change spacing to six point. Um, it's just a matter of preference for me. Um, I like to have everything even single spacing, line single. And then also on indentation, we're going to change the in, the right indentation to two inches. And after two inches, we're gonna change it to hanging. And what this does is you can see the first line of text, it, you know, it's normal, but then after the second and third line of text, the text is going to shift over two inches from the left. So it's gonna make this next body of paragraph, you know, very uh, on the side, so you have all the space in between. So kind of like how you guys did your bibliographies when you did back in back in high school, you have what's called the hang in the dent. That's what we're gonna do for the dialogue. So we'll say, okay. So that's so that's our, so we got our new common dialogues right here. We'll create another new style, we're gonna call this plain text one. Um, I think plain, I think plain text is already taken. So I'll just say plain text one. Uh, let's start for this. We'll say comic dialogue. 
and then same thing for the paragraph 666 single perfect um i'm going to change this based on i say based on normal and change the space into six So six, there we go. Single spacing. Okay, so we got commas dialog, normal, plain text, no spaces. I don't worry about that. Um, heading one, we're gonna use heading one for our page number. So we're gonna say modify. And then I want to, I'm gonna make this bold. I'm gonna make the font bigger. Okay, probably 24. Um, we can always change it afterwards. Um, in the fonts, I'm gonna make this all caps and actually, yeah, that's good. So all caps bold. And I actually gonna change the, the, the font to the body one, just to make it a little bigger. Okay, press okay. And then I'm gonna add one more style here. This one I'm going to call, um, issue title and it's not based on anything there's no style um, after that I'll just go to probably paint plain text uh, for this one bold this one's gonna be bigger than the other one so it's gonna be let's say 30 and we don't have to do all kinds of this one okay so <clears throat> so far we got our comments dialogue our issue title style normal plain text and heading one. All right, so those are the essentials you need for uh, the multi-level list. So now we are ready to go and make our multi-level list. So right here, we're gonna click on this button right here, this multi-level list, define new level list. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say more so we can show you what's going on. So the way a uh, friend does his uh, multi-level list is that this is level one. So this is where we put our page number. So I'm gonna put in under format for number, page and then i'm going to change it to one you uh again you guys have all these options so if you want to do the actual numbers page one or if you want the actual words written out page first second third like you have the ability over here so i'm going to say page one and i'm going to take off that uh parentheses and then under font i'm going to make the the same font as was for the heading one so bold like i said 26 all caps and I'm actually going to underline it. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. And then for this one, I'm going to follow the number with nothing. And then I'm going to link. So right here, I'm gonna link the level to style and I'm gonna link it to the heading one. Okay. And then text and then make sure this is all set to zero. Zero, yeah. Okay, and that thing, and that's it for the first level. Right. Second level, uh, this is going to be the panel number. So I'm going to type in panel, and this time I'm going to say one. Um, and I'm going to change the parentheses to a colon, and then um, the font is going to be all caps. I don't know why it's doing ties of Roman. I'll do the body one. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna link this one, this style to normal style. Uh, we're gonna restart list after one, that's correct. Follow the number with a space. And then again, the text, the alignment, set it to zero, text and then at zero. Make sure the number alignment is on the left, that's correct. And, um, Yep, that's pretty, and that's it for the second level. So we got page number, we got the page number, we're heading one, we got the panel one with the normal style. And the third one is where we're gonna do our dialogue. On this one, we're going to change the number style to just the number one, and we'll leave it with the parentheses. Uh, we're going to restart list after level one. And what this means is this is gonna help us with the numbering of the pages. So when we restart list after number one, what happens is every new page is going to reset the numbers for the dialogue so then uh we're going to follow the number with uh, again spacing um 
Now alignment. Now this one, what I did for my um, script, I did like a point one one, so that it tells me that you know the dialogue is within the panel. Uh, I think Fred just does it aligned it at the very end at, at zero at zero point. So this is optional if you want to do a point one. Um, but text indent very important. We're going to do this at two inches. Okay, and so. Then we're going to link this left. Uh, we're going to link the dial to this one. Okay, so so far so good. Then the fourth one, and then the fourth one, I'm just going to say restart. Make sure it says restart list at the level three. Uh, we're not going to add any stuff here. The only the only levels we're concerned right now is levels one, two, and three. Okay. Slight correction, y'all. Uh, going back to the first level, I forgot to say follow number with space. And so once I once I do that, it's gonna give you a little space here. Um, so that way when I press enter, there we got a new panel. So now we can type in information. So like I said, everything's automated. So we could just simply say, you know, opening shot, New Jersey set post apocalyptic. Uh, or I, I, I'm not sure if I'm spelling this right. <laughs> so get, bear with me, y'all. Um, but then I just don't matter how descriptive you want to be. You just want to make it real short, brief. You press enter, and then the next paragraph makes your dial goes to your dialogue style right here. And so you can simply say caption, and then you press tab to make a new line to make a new line, and then I'll say New Jersey. 2030 and then i'll make a new dialogue i press enter again and this time i have a character say something um and then the character could just say something like uh what a wasteland so so i don't know some something whatever and then at the next if i want to do a new, new panel i press enter twice and it makes panel two then you can do the same thing at your font at another shot so close up uh, Eric is distraught. I don't know. Uh, definitely more. And then um, for plain text, so, oh, right here, so for plain text, I don't want the plain text to be attached to anything. So I'll make sure I say style based on no style. So let's say I want to make another, um, I want to add more information to the panel, but I don't want it to say panel two or caption, whatever. So I just click on it and I could say um, letters, no, or, you know. Letters, no, like if I want to make a note for the letters, say, make sure, you know, make sure, um, the captions are colored red, you know, for the scene. So, you know, you could add, you know, any, any information needed within your panel. So it doesn't take in any, um, you know, it doesn't um, mess up your, uh, your formatting. And it's all still attached there. And then I could just go to the next panel and then see right there, I could just Type in my next caption, so blah, blah, blah. But you, but you can see throughout my writing how easy it is, intuitive. It's everything runs automatically. If I wanted to make a new page, just go into the styles page two and see the number two goes automatically. And then I press enter. Oh, I press and I press enter. And then that goes to my next panel. And I can just continue writing from there forth. And let's say if I wanted to shift these panels into the next page, I just simply copy all of this, or I could just cut it. And I say, okay, I, I'm maybe I'll just put this in panel one, and see, just like that, the format is still the same. I got I, oh, I can also do the same thing with the pan, with panel one. Maybe this panel one should be in page page two. I don't know. Paste it here. 
And look at that. All right, you guys, that's all I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as well, also check out Ven Van Lente's uh, templates. They're free. They're available for anybody that wants to start their own project. And it's just intuitive. It's already built into the system. Just grab it, go, and you can write it down. Links will be in the description below. And also, don't forget, you guys, to check out my book, Atlas Andrea Ben Issue 1. Uh, we just sold out out of all the... Um, covers the, the the variant covers so we just have the retail and the manga ones so make sure you guys go check it out before they are gone and then last but not least we'll be having a comic con showing up in august 26 and the 27 will be i'll be at the fairfax comic con so to all you guys who are in virginia maryland dc pull up come come and support your boy over at fairfax comic con we'll be at the dulles expo center more information will be coming as the time gets closer but in the meantime Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.